Oh my goodness, uh, what a great show we have ahead. And uh, we start with one of my favorite people. Of course, you probably recognize him from his show here on Rogers TV, which we're going to air yet again this summer. You can catch it each and every Sunday. Grill this, smoke that. But I'm joined by the grilling gourmet himself, Steph Ligari, joining me on the show. How, How are you, doing, you buddy? Derek? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Welcome back. It's, Welcome it, back. It's Every time I come back, there's a new studio. <laughs> it's like, how many it's kitchens true. have I worked in? It's, it's, it's cool because you get to uh, see old friends and and old colleagues, and uh, this is really, really where it all kicked off. Yeah, was well, with with Rogers. Well, part part, part, of, part, it, of, it, part of it. Part of it. What also helped kick off your your career was back in two thousand and three. You teamed up with with Capital Barbecue, I did. and you make your return in twenty twenty three. Tell it, me about it, that. It, how, how did you guys first connect? Well, it was it was a it was a cool story. I, I was on my motorcycle and I was riding down the road, and I saw this really cool barbecue shop, and I thought. I can just pop in. So I started buying all kinds of weird and wonderful things. And before you know it, Chuck, who's the owner, said, what's your deal? What, what are you all about? So I said, I'm a chef, and I'm taking a bit of a sabbatical. Um, and he says, well, come on to the back and take a look at my demonstration kitchen. Right. So we went to the back, and I looked at it, and he says, so what do you think? And I went, politely, it's nice. <laughs> and he goes, no, seriously, what's it like? And I said, it doesn't work. Really? The counters were too high. Uh, there wasn't enough room. Uh, it just, it was a bad flow. Everything was built in. Right. Like here, your sets can move around. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if you want to profile something different, the next desk guest comes on. Right. Same should apply with grills. So you've got this great oh, big yeah. overhead vent that's sucking up all this stuff with this built-in unit. So I said, get rid of all that, get rid of all that, and do this, 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 this. So now you can wheel in a Napoleon. You can wheel in a Kamado mm. Joe. You can wheel in whatever you want to profile for that day. Right. So guest chefs that come in can use whatever equipment they want. About two weeks later, I get a phone call. Steph, would you mind coming back in? Not at all. Everything was done. <laughs> So, I just that's what they do, right? That's what they I mean, do. They build these. They, they want it to be the best possible for their audience that's coming in. You right. want quality equipment. So, um, I turned to him and I, I said, This is fantastic. It's a candy store. Oh, yeah. It and is. it is. And he says, Well, why don't you do us a demo? Well, he blindsided me. I had Ron Eid, bless his soul, yeah. from the Ottawa Miss Citizen. Ron. Yeah. Um, miss Ron terribly. Uh, and food editors and people that, that I've been reading their articles since I was a boy. And they're all sitting in front of me going, what are you going to make us? <laughs> With their little pens and papers out. Yeah. He blindsided me, but it was awesome because it was, it was a turning point. And it was a start of working all of my formally trained culinary ways mixed in with barbecue right so it just and then after capital i became the resident chef and then it just spiraled so i i, I stayed with capital for a few years and then i branched off and did my own catering yeah i got into a fierce truck accident uh, um, was that four years ago now? that was five years now five years. five years five years and i essentially lost a lot of the power in my right arm and my right leg so much so that i can't ride a two-wheel motorcycle anymore so now i've got a big big trike okay so it was a change of lifestyle <laughs> Are you going to mock me for riding no, three? No, you called it a trike. It is a trike. Not me. It's I'm a three-wheeled motorcycle. I, it's a trike. I just said, a, a guy like you driving a trike, that's what I imagine. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. You know? Where's my camera? <laughs> Keep shaking my head. Keep shaking my head. But anyways, yes. um, left Capital, did my own catering, got into the accident, and then I had to um, mentor another chef, Pat Riggins, who eventually bought all of my equipment. He right. bought my 27-foot catering rig, which, it killed me. Oh, and I and honestly, between you and me and the thousands of people that are watching, I went through a mini depression because I didn't know what I was going to do for the rest of my life. My father and mother, who uh, are a constant source of inspiration for me, my dad was, uh, he's a retired illusionist. Okay. So he said, when I lost the ability to do magic professionally because of the arthritis in my hands, I started teaching. Uh. So I was on social media, that was in the back of my head. Mom encouraged me to teach. She's a retired teacher, so that's her forte. Of course. 
the rest is all candy. And here uh, you are now. Here I am now. Right, teaching. You're, you, you've teamed up with, with Chef Rick as well. You're, yeah, you're, you're teaching Rick some Watson. of the I'm some, a, I'm some a of the professor courses. of the art of I love it. and history of okay. application. Okay. We're going to run out of time before we get to yes. this great drink that you have for let's, us here today. Let's make a cocktail. Okay. Uh, grills and smokers don't have to be just for burgers and dogs. I've said that for a million years. And now we've got products like this, which is called the Grill Grate. It's a game changer. Yeah. It is absolutely. You're telling me I need to get that because you know I love barbecue. It, I love grilling. It, it turns any grill into a Ferrari. Literally, it evens out your uh, heat on your grill. It gives you a nonstick surface. For for example, we're going to be doing something that's really wonky donkey. I okay. really love creamsicles. I okay. always have. As me a too. kid, I'm with the creamsicle. So all I did is I took a juice orange and I cut it and I put it on the grill grate. I did the same thing with a mandarin orange. Again, two different sugars, two different flavor compounds of the same citrus. Right. So now it's another layer of flavor. So you char them up so it's nice and charred. Okay. Okay. Then you put them in. This is nice. Uh, that, that was a gift from my good friend Michelle Vandenbosch. And I've always wanted a really good juicer. This is certainly that. And, <laughs> I think uh, this thing crushes. It, so can I do a couple yeah, of these? Yeah, do All a right, couple. Right, right. Get her, watch your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Give it a good squeeze. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That does the trick. Go ahead, eh? pop it open. Let's get that out of there. All Let's right. do another one. Okay, here we go. That was close. Don't worry. Friends, Derek. I'm a professional, yeah. people. How about if I remove a new place? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's probably safer if uh, the person that's juicing is doing the place. So now we've got a little bit of orange going on. And you're in getting, there. as you said, I guess the reason you did that is to bring out that sweetness, right? We're bringing out the sugar. It's not just a matter of bringing out the sugar, but you want to add a different element. You want that, uh, that flavor of charcoal and smoke gotcha. in there as well. We're going to do one more, and that should be okay. plenty. Beautiful. Look at me, I even I come with it. a Thank little red for you. Okay. We'll change that up to collect all that goodness. Okay. In the cocktail shaker. Pouring that in? Pour that the whole in. Whole thing? Yep. Okay. Oh, look at that juice. You're going to take some Grand Marnier, okay. but uh, you've got a, a lovely microgreen girl that's going to be yeah. on pretty soon. Yeah, Jessica's uh, coming up. Jessica Suto, yeah. So we're going to put, for a little pepperiness, oh, we're going to throw a little I radish like in there. So we're going to have a little radish in there. Okay, you are going to use the oh, shot glass? Sorry. Well, I'm, you can free pour. <laughs> we're drinking. I'm good with a sip okay, drink. All right. Two. There we two, go. There's two oh, of us two. here. All right. Sorry. Yeah, two, two people. Two. Two ounces. There gotcha. you go. Same thing Some with Tito's the... vodka. Okay. So you've got Grand Marnier. You've got vodka. And at the end of it, we're going to throw a splash of cream. It is oh, a creamsicle. It's a creamsicle. It is a creamsicle. I've got 50 seconds. So you think we can do this in 50 seconds? I'm going to use my hands. I so. want to remind everybody, um, Steph Ligari over there at Capital Barbecue, bbqing.com. You can find out the full line of products. We had Joe on the show. I, you know, for some of us, we think it's barbecue season now for people like Steph and I. We barbecue it's year and round. grill year round. It's year round. Uh, but a great spot. Look and of at course, that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, grill this, smoke that. As I mentioned, coming up this summer, we're going to bring it back to Rogers TV. Each and every Sunday is going to be sort of our, our food day of the week. And so we're going to bring back grill this, smoke that. Hey, buddy, great to see you. Cheers. Congratulations Thank on you very everything. Much. Oh, is that good? Creamsicle. That is a creamsicle, my <laughs> friends, for the adults in your life. We'll be back with more right after this. <laughs>